Hey, thanks for taking a minute to listen to me talk about my new book. So this isn't going to be audio related. And I know we're running it on Paul's YouTube channel that's all about audio. And here I am in my PS Audio shirt and my PS Audio desk. <laughs> And talking to you, and you're here because of audio, but if you'll indulge me for a moment, I wanted to talk about something near and dear to my heart, and that is the final book in the Emian series of four books is finally done, and it's out, and I am so thrilled to tell you all about it. And I'm, I'll keep it short, okay, because I know yeah, but a lot of you have written in and said, hey, when's the, when's the final book coming out? And I also want to tell you something else that I did. So my editor, going back through it, because we're going to put the, the first three books together into one, uh, and, and let me explain that to you. So where should we start? Okay, I'm getting off track. Emians is my book that I wrote a couple of years ago, the very first one, The Aurora Project, takes us to a distant island off of the coast of Greenland, and we meet Sam Sawyer and Julia Bassey, those are the main characters, and Professor Satsky, and he's searching for this ancient civilization that existed 100,000 years ago. And for those readers that know the story, I'll just briefly tell you, 100,000 years, and this is all true. So everything I did in this book is absolutely based on fact, except the main story, but the, the facts are all real. Uh, so 100,000 years ago, during the last interglacial warming period, we're currently in what's called the Holocene, and it started 12,000 years ago when the glaciers melted, and we think civilization started. Well, an identical period to that started 100,000 years ago during an interglacial warming period called the Eemian. And during that period was the first time that people like us, Homo sapiens, our, our breed, appeared on the face of the planet. There were Neanderthals, there were all kinds of different factions going on, mostly Neanderthals and an earlier Homo sapien. But we appeared about that same time, 120,000 years ago or so. And then there was this warming period that is identical to this warming period we're in now. So you had identical humans, an identical warming period, and all of a sudden, civilization. We know that there were at least a million of them running around. So that's all factual. And here's another factual thing. They had about 12,000 years, just like we've had. And at the end of that 12,000 year period, something strange happened that science has never been able to explain. And that is the climate heated up and there was this rush of greenhouse gases that nobody knows why or how they came about. And during that critical warming period at the end of the Eemian, half of Antarctica melted, all of Gre most all of Greenland melted, seas rose, just kind of like what's happening today. So my book says, well, if we had identical humans in identical circumstances, why couldn't there have been a civilization the same as ours? And they're the ones that did this global warming thing. So that's what the basis of the book. And our, our heroes uncover the secrets. They, have, they go through all these exciting, crazy things, and there's bad guys and all of that. So when I wrote the series, I wrote book one, The Aurora Project, and then book two kind of confused everybody. It was in the beginning. Then we went back to 100,000 years and talked about Emians. Well, my editor said, you know, People who want to read your sort of um, oh, uh, Da Vinci Code-ish, you know, quick-paced, fun thriller uh, aren't going to be happy reading this one about the ancient Emian. So put that as number four. So make book one, The Aurora Project, book two, Green Fires Burning, and book three, the latest, The Secret of Eschaton. Put those three together because it's all during the present time and it is a trilogy. And then, if they get through that and they like it, maybe they'll read They Came First about the emails. Yeah, it's a fun book. 
So that's what I did. So now book one is the Aurora Project, book two is Green Fires Burning, and the one I'm excited about right now, The Secret of Eschaton. And it is by far, I think, the, the most nail-biting, the best, great ending, love it. It was so much fun to write. I hope you have a chance to pick up a copy or read the whole trilogy. And anyway, thank you for listening. It's available now on Amazon. I'll put a link in there and you can go check it out. So, all right, thanks. Bye.